The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to The Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes. Thanks so much for joining me, folks. I absolutely love being here with you, and we're off to Marvelous Monday. Of course, Friday was Fireworks Friday. It wasn't just Fantastic Friday. It was Fireworks Friday, so maybe today's just more like Mellow Monday. But hopefully, folks, you're off to a fantastic start of your day, marvelous start of your day. If you're not, you should be, and you can do it like that in the click of a the snap of your fingers in a heartbeat, as they say. We're going to take a look at the markets uh, here right now. You've got the Dow futures up about uh, about 10 uh, points. Uh, ES Mini trading out 12.78. That's up about uh, 12 points. Now, all of this is after the uh, futures market. Now, you would expect it. The futures market last night, as it opened, be, uh, to have been down. Just simply, you know, you had the U.S. Uh, leading things off uh, for Asia. Uh, you know, so Asia got some sleep over the weekend. And, of course, with our markets being down 275 points on the Dow and uh, 40 points, uh, 32 points on the S&P, you would have expected our futures to have been down. They've rebounded quite a, a bit here. We're going to certainly cover that. Take a look at the charts. Uh, thank you so much for everybody that listens to us on the radio. You can always catch an archive of this show on Channel 9. And it is Marvelous Monday because we got this show. Then after this, Tom and I will be together for the Money Masters show. Then we go up to Newton, Massachusetts to Basil Chapman. I know he's preparing for his online uh, workshop this coming Friday. Folks, go to the homepage of TFNN.com. You can check that out. And uh, and then we go from uh, from uh, Basil all the way out to uh, Tucson, Arizona to Larry Pesavento. Great uh, lineup for the uh, afternoon. Because then you got David White, the David White Band. He's warming things up from 3 to 4 for the Tom O'Brien Show. And so hopefully you had a, just a fantastic weekend out there. We're going to you know, take a look at the charts, and you can watch us on Tiger TV. You'll want to do that because absolutely I'm going to teach you something. I'm going to show you different patterns that are out there. You know, And there's always patterns. Now, last week we got the chance, to, or I certainly had the chance to talk about you know, life as a combination lock and success. And, and on Friday I was going to really talk about confidence, just try and wrap everything up in confidence. And the reason why I was leaving that for Friday, so I was going to give you a couple of different Different, uh, you know, for those folks that were golfers, I was going to give you a different way to approach your shots, a uh, you know, different way for you to approach even just that first tee, because a lot of folks have those first tee jitters. In fact, almost everybody does. In fact, when you go up on stage, you have first tee jitters. When I start the show in the morning, I guess I have first tee jitters, but it's all about focus and it's really all about confidence. So I was going to speak to that. I also figured, you know, it's a weekend and people are going to parties. You're getting together with folks. Maybe you're going to be at a restaurant. You're going to see somebody that you haven't seen for a long time. You know, do they remember you? You remember them. And it's really all about confidence. As far as your approach, whether or not, you know, at a party, it depends whether you're an extrovert, an introvert. But the whole point that I was going to do, and I'm going to do that this morning since markets are off a little bit. But you can always give us a call, 877-927-6648. But what had been cool about Friday was because I was going to be talking about golf. And so first, let's just talk about confidence because you know, always talk about success principles. And when I take a look at success principles, you know, there's really... You know, there's there's three core elements of, of success, and success is defined in your life, my life. We each define it a little bit different, but there are certain ingredients that I guarantee you that for any element of your life that you're successful in, that we share, that is in common. And it's really the three Ps, if you will, the three Ps in the pod, those Ps being purpose. I mean, you have to have strong reasons why you want to be able to do something, and when you're successful, I guarantee you have strong reasons why. You overcome Everything that the universe throws in front of you, if it's trading, if it's investing, you'll overcome every hurdle that gets thrown out there with you. No matter what it was, if it's a business that you started, if it's a relationship, whatever it is, if you are going to be successful at it, you have to have real strong purpose. I call those also strong reasons why. That's the first P, performance. You've got to perform, right? You have to absolutely perform. So it's all about performance. It's all about purpose. And, folks, you got to have passion. Because without passion, you know, you're especially when the universe throws those curveballs at you. If you don't have purpose and passion, strong reasons why, and then just that internal passion and drive to just simply overcome, it's going to be very difficult to be successful. Now, you think back about it for a moment, about any element of your life where you've had an extreme amount of success. 
You tell me whether or not, because we all define success differently. We all have a different number, perhaps, when it comes to what wealth might mean. Some people, you know, think about success more as how many people can they help. So there's all different levels of what success are. But no matter what those elements are that you consider to be successful in life, what I can guarantee you is that your level of success is going to be based on your performance, it's going to be based on your passion, it's going to be based on your purpose. So go back right now just for a moment and think about some of the most successful times in your life. I guarantee you that we have those three ingredients involved. Now, what does all that do for you? What it does when you have those three ingredients, it gives you confidence. And confidence, no, you know, I kind of meld that whole down to that secret sauce. That's the three P's of confidence there. And confidence, it's a real important part of success. And so, in fact, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's confidence is, is almost like, in my opinion, it's, it's just certainty that things are going to turn out the way that you want. So even when, even when you're going out after something and you're getting crushed, Maybe you're getting crushed in the markets, whatever it might be. You still, if you have confidence, you're still confident that no matter what the universe threw at you, that you're just simply going to be able to get what you want. You're going to be able to power through it, and you're going to be able to make it happen. Now, one of my favorite movies, I wish my kids were listening here. One of my favorite movies is My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Have, have any of you seen that movie out there, My Big Fat Greek Wedding? If you haven't, and you're flipping through the channels one day, you know, watch it. It's a, it's it's a great movie. I think it's a great movie. And my favorite character in there is a guy named Gus Portocollis. I think Portocollis, Portocollis, I think that's how you uh, pronounce his, his name. Now, he plays the father. Uh, uh, Michael Constantine, I think, is the character. And he plays the actual father in that movie. Now, he what he did is he actually made, I think he was sponsored by Windex. Now, the reason I say that, folks, is he was the one that popularized her in that movie. No matter what you had, if you had a cutter, you had a scratch, or you had a, a zit, whatever it is, you know, he would spray Windex on it. So his whole big thing was being able to spray Windex. And, of course, I'm kind of diversing here. Let us let me get back on track. What, what, what he did, one of my favorite parts of, of Gus, was that in the movie, he would tell his daughter, I forget his daughter's name, but he would always say the following. He would say, give me a word any word, and I'll show you how the root word is Greek. So I've always wanted to say that. It's only taken a year and a half or what have you. So I'm going to show you, I don't know if actually the root of the word confide is Greek, but let's just let's just pretend that it is. So if you take a look at the root word of confidence, it's confide. And and if we, it's a compound word. So let's go ahead and take those two syllables. Uh, you know, so you've got con and fide, right? Well, what's con mean? Con is not, I'm going to con you. Con is about with. Think about it like this, a rose cone, or con, or cone, con pollo, right? A rose con pollo. So now I'm going to keep a little, a little bit of my uh, Spanish here, right? You've got chicken with rice. So that's the first part of it. And then you've got fide. So what does fide actually mean? Well, think about it like this. If you've ever entered into a business arrangement with somebody, haven't you done a bona fide, bona fide deal? So if you've done a bona fide deal, it's really about trust. It's really about faith. You know, we love you listening to us here at TFNM because it really is all about trust. It is all about faith. In order for you to have confidence, you have to have trust in yourself or trust in anything is that you want to be able to do. So confidence has everything to do about inspiring trust so that you can have faith in yourself or other folks out there. And just simply what I was going to do on Friday was say, when you step up to that golf shot, and you're going to go ahead and do this anything. I want you to have confidence. I want you to have faith in yourself. You have to, with faith, you've got to have faith in yourself. I want you to focus on what it is that you want to do. Just like when you are trading the markets, I want to focus. I want you to focus on the pattern that you're trading. I want you to be able to focus on what it is that you want to do. Or maybe if you're going to go to a party, you're going to meet somebody. Maybe you're going to come across somebody and you don't know whether you should walk up to them. Just have the confidence to do it. Just have the confidence to do it. Put yourself in that state of mind. So, before we go off to the markets, summarizing here, success, folks. Success is actually a numbers game. In fact, if you go to the homepage of TFNN.com, you can get my free report, and you want to be able to do that. I want you to have confidence. This is not my opinion, and it's about the most critical point in time. You know, the markets, we're in a bear market. We are absolutely in a bear market. We're going to have a bounce today. We may have a bounce for a few days or what have you. Uh, and But we're in the next leg of a bear market. I want all those folks out there to protect their assets. I want you to go to the homepage of TFNN.com. If you haven't done it now, just go do it. There's a report that I put up there. This is not about Steve Rhodes' opinion. It's about putting an indicator over a Dow chart for 73 years, telling you when to be in and when to be out of the market so that you can have, and you will absolutely, when you go take a look at that report, you'll have confidence to go ahead and pull that trigger 
If the market decides to do something else, you can get back in. But don't ride the market down like most of you, and I mean most, I mean 70% plus, rode the market down from the 2007 highs to the 2009 lows. I don't want you to do that, so please go to the homepage at tfnn.com and click on that special free report, and it will be in your mailbox post-haste. So let's go to the markets here now that I've kind of, you know, did my thing for the morning, pick up a little bit of Friday and a little bit of Monday. And let's take a look at the ES Mini that we have out here. We've got the 30-minute chart out here. Now, right now, what you can see, it's trading out at 12.79 even. Now, this is after making, you know, pretty decent uh, move down. Take a look at what we were trading at in May. The highs out there being in the 1410 area, and you are at 12.79 right now. What do you see out here? If you just look at this chart, what do you see? You see lower highs and lower lows, folks. And there's more lower highs and there's more lower lows on their way. 877-927-6648. Dow Futures up about 20 or so. ES Mini up 5. Get in store for a bounce, folks. But the moves to the downside are not over. We'll be right back. Kate Stalter's exciting newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, has just launched, and now is a great time to get a two-week free trial. Every Wednesday afternoon, Kate sends out her weekly newsletter to her subscribers where she focuses on small-cap stocks with market caps under $2 billion, as well as low-priced equities with share prices ranging from $5 to $12. Kate tracks a variety of stocks with a combination of strong technical support and solid fundamentals. Many of the stocks featured will be recent IPOs. These newer issues are often some of the biggest price gainers in the market and provide an excellent opportunity for substantial gains if timed correctly. You can catch Kate Stalter live on Tiger TV with her small cap roundup every Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and visit TFNN.com right now to get your two-week free trial to her brand new newsletter, Low Priced Leaders, while locking in the low introductory monthly rate of only $37.50 per month, almost a 50% discount. Act now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you gain access to each host charts and computer screen as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Ken Shreve, Kate Stalter, Dave White, Larry Pesavento, or Victor Jones, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV yet, then visit TFNN.com today to see what you're missing. Stock market corrections are the number one reason that a buy-and-hold investment strategy produces the poorest results, and I have 73 years of data that proves it. Now, the good thing about economic difficult times is that the worst economy can produce the best rewards in the shortest period of time. In fact, during the last 130 years, 61% of that time period has been spent in recession. And if you're one of the 70% of American households relying on their 401ks and IRAs for retirement, you need the single strategy that is bulletproof against the turmoil of our stock markets. Go to the homepage at TFNN.com under Breaking News, click on Success is a Numbers Game to receive this must-have free report. This bulletproof strategy may be days away from giving the next signal. Don't neglect your retirement, and don't neglect this signal. If you're even a little bit interested in accumulating wealth, providing a better life for you and your family, then go to TFNN.com to order your free copy of Success is a Numbers Game today. Implement the disciplines contained in this report, and success will be yours for the taking. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. It's that time of year again, and the Great Panther Silver Summer Silver Giveaway is back. 
Every day in June, Monday through Friday, we'll be giving away a Great Panther Silver one-ounce silver bar, and all you have to do to enter is visit the front page of TFNN.com and fill out your entry. Great Panther Silver and TFNN wishing you a great start to the summer. Sign up today to have a chance to win a one-ounce silver bar during the Great Panther Silver Summer Silver Giveaway the whole month of June at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Don't know if you saw the uh, finish to the uh, golf tournament yesterday, the uh, Jack Nicholas Memorial Tournament, but Tiger Woods certainly stepped up to that shot on hole 16 with confidence. Stepped up with confidence and ended up winning that tournament. Pretty cool to bookend his year so far, winning Arnold's tournament uh, just down the street here at uh, Bay Hill and Jack's tournament to uh, tie Jack for the uh, second most number of PGA Tour victories out there. So pretty cool. Now, there's patterns that exist in every marketplace. We're taking a look at the ES Mini 30 on the way up, on the way down. I want you to understand it is normal for markets to breathe. Nothing goes straight up, nothing goes straight down. They're just simply breathing patterns. If you just take a look at the A, B equals CD patterns that are out there, you've got an A point right here, low swing point, taking a look right around the 7.30 time frame or so on May the 20th when you had the ES Mini trade now at 12, uh, 12.88 or so, even, Stephen. That's your A point, your B point. It's when it gets all the way up into the uh, swing point right up here, if I can get it. looks like about 11.30 in the morning on May 22nd, 13.00. 2650 retraces looks like it probably does a 0.618 retracement a one-to-one -one a to b equals cd on the 30 minute chart takes you up to 1332 what does the es mini get up to well of course it gets up to 1332 1332 and a quarter backs off gets back up to 1333.50 gets up there and does what next does the next a to b equals cd pattern the market will do 75% of the work. All you have to do is focus on that D point. Well, if we take a look at the market on the way back down, you'd go to the swing point high. That was established at about 5 p.m. Uh, up at the 1334 and a quarter. That was on May the 29th. The uh, B point ends up being the lows that were put in here at 1130 in the morning on May the 31st. Gets down to 1297. Bounces up into the time frame of 4 p.m. May the 31st. What does the market do? Now, it does a one to almost a 1.618, A to B equals CD down. Doesn't get quite down there. That would have been 12.59, uh, where the ES Mini actually got down to last night in trading at 7.30, got down to a low of 12.62, even, Stephen. 12.62 versus 12.59. Not too bad, considering it had a starting point of uh, 1334 bucks. Now, on the 30-minute chart, no bullish uh, candle out there. Of course, there are a number of lunar cycles, one of those being the full moon. And I'm telling you, folks, it was a beautiful full moon this morning. Hopefully, if you were up on the East Coast at about 6 o'clock, the actual full moon came in at 613. It was just simply a gorgeous, beautiful full moon out there. And so you had that. You had perigee. That's where the moon is closest to you. That occurred on... Uh, Saturday night, or Saturday morning, I can't recall whether it was Saturday night or Saturday morning, you had that. Uh, so we've got a number of different uh, aspects that are out there. Now, full moons, typically, folks, full moons typically are buys in a bear market. So you have the full moon come in this morning, you know, and, and when you're timing this here, you would take a look at the low on the ES Mini that's really important, really important, folks, is going to be the low that was put in last night at 730 that low 1262. Why? Because if that low gets taken out, it just simply tells you that full moon cycle has absolutely failed. I expect it to fail. I just don't expect it to fail today. Why? Because you're going to be making an A to B equals CD patterns. Well, right now, all that you're making is you're making your A to B leg. You know, you started off this morning in the ES Mini down at the 1262 area. So far, you've gotten up to about 1270. Uh, 7950. So you're making your A to B. There may be still a little bit more room to go, and then it will do a pullback. It'll do a normal breathing pattern. It'll complete your next A to B equals CD pattern. At that stage, that would set up going short the market, or going at least short the next intraday cycle. This is a 30 minute chart that we're playing out, that, that we're taking a look at out here. Let's just simply go to the longer term chart. Let's go take a look at the daily chart out there. So if we go switch over to the daily chart of the uh, ES Mini, 
Let's go see what we have going on out here. The ES Mini today uh, doing a, you can see it's almost, if it were to close today, you'd almost have a, you would have a hammer candle. Uh, you'd have a hammer candle after making a, uh, an ABCD pattern. If we take a look at that ABCD pattern, it's going to be really what we were looking at on the ES Mini. Uh, that AB equals CD pattern here, almost making a 1 to 2.618. That, well, I didn't actually get down there. Let me grab the right uh, swing points out here. But you can see that the ES Mini, where it's going to first run into, so let's just take a look at where it's going to first run into some real resistance here. And that resistance, folks, is going to be that October 27th swing point. The October 27th swing point high, 1289.25. You are trading right now at 1278.75. Expect that to be a resistance area. In fact, if we go switch over real quickly and take a look at the ETFs out there, you take a look at ETFs, you've got two of them confirming an A to B equals CD down. And two of them that did not confirm it, but you still close below the B point out there. 877-927-6648. King Dollar pulling back 30 ticks right now. We'll be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when temporary market spikes move against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the advantage of keeping your trades open even when the market temporarily spikes against you. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique short-term binary options that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Would you like a personal update from Tom O'Brien as to what equities he's trading and what his daily trading plan is before the market opens each morning? Every market day, Tom O'Brien sends out his daily newsletter, Market Insights, to hundreds of subscribers that rely on his daily recommendations when it comes to navigating these highly volatile markets we're dealing with. As recently as May 21st, Market Insights subscribers closed out all five open positions for a combined profit of over 68% in one day. Profits ranged from 6.5% to over 24%, and all of these trades had been initiated within the previous 30 days. Now is the perfect time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's explosive trading newsletter, Market Insights, at $85 value. Tom breaks down the market each morning with his market take and provides trade recommendations including precise stops and target profit zones, leaving nothing left to guessing. Log on to TFNN.com today and sign up for your two-week free trial. Make sure you're a subscriber the next time Market Insights subscribers close out multiple winning trades. Take action and sign up for your free trial today. If you're an investor looking for a great weekly investment newsletter, then now is the perfect time to try out Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Every Tuesday, Ken breaks down multiple sectors in his weekly newsletter, Ultimate Growth Stocks, with a full in-depth report including specific trading recommendations within his model portfolio, charts, sector analysis, upcoming economic data, along with intra-week trading updates on newsletter positions whenever the market dictates. Right now, you can receive a full month, that's 30 days, to evaluate Ken's newsletter free of charge to see if it fits your trading plan. At less than $75 per month, Ken provides you with his expert trading advice that can pay for itself in no time. Take advantage of this great offer by signing up for a 30-day free trial to Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks today. Don't let this offer pass you by. Visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up now. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan for Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation 
location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney Financial Advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, First Vice President and Certified Financial Planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. To the races. Got the uh, Dow out of the gate up 14 points. SP's up three. Composite up 16. Small caps. Russell 2000 in the lead up uh, six tenths of a percent, up four points right now. New York Stock Exchange uh, just sort of getting out of the gate up 22 points. NDX up 17 points. King Dollar back uh, 36 cents. Uh, da Gold trading off a buck right now at 1621 after a heck of wide price spread. On Friday, no volume behind it though. Wide price spread. You had silver down uh, 20 uh, cents right now, trading out at 28.30. Uh, uh, light sweet crude off. Uh, oh, it's up 35 cents right now, out at 88.58. That's coming back to 75 dollar area. You've got the DAX off 33 points right now. The Nikkei off 144 last night. Uh, the Shanghai off 67 points. That was two and seven tenths percent. That was uh, not. It was. It was down much further. Uh, during the uh, session, they had the Hang Seng off uh, 2%, 372 at one point. I know I looked at it, and it was off about at least six, 570 points, 600 points. We'll just simply round up for those matters. Now, we're taking a look here at the Euro. What I've got up on my screen is the Euro Daily Chart. The Euro Daily Chart uh, shows that on Friday, you created a bullish engulfing candle. Uh, didn't have to really engulf too much because it was a doji. It was one of Rick from British Columbia's doji candles on May the 31st, but you are getting confirmation of that today. That suggests that we will see a uh, bounce here, uh, and uh, we're going to be able to take a look at the volume. Well, before we went to break, I was talking about the ETFs out there, and so we do have a little bit of divergence. But what we do see here, let's take a look at the, let's go take a look at the diamonds first. The diamonds confirming an A to B equals CD down, and not just confirming it, confirming, confirming it, folks, with confidence. Talked about confidence in that early segment there. Well, let me tell you, with, in this case here, with accelerated volume and wide price spread, it had everything. The B point that it took out on an A to B equals CD down was the B point for May 23rd. The low there, 122.82, 8.6 million shares. What does it take it out with on Friday? It takes it out with 11.8 million shares. Folks, that is accelerated volume. And it is wide price spread. Not only did you take it out, you gapped down. You gapped down below the October 27th swing point high. You know, what you would want to be taking a look at here is you'd want to be taking a look at, you know, if you could get a bounce up to that October 27th area, the 122.58, that would be the first target to look for a uh, signal out there. That would be on the uh, Dow Diamonds. So the Dow Diamonds, top line number. And if you take a look at the free report that I uh, uh, had uh, put out there for all of you, and you got to get it. You just absolutely, if not for yourself, do it for somebody else. Do it for a friend. Download it, print it out, and give it to a friend because the majority of your, of your friends are in the markets. They've got 401ks, and this is the time in those accounts to absolutely protect your assets and be in cash. I can't say it any more clear than that, I don't think, but I will continue to say it. It is the time to get your long-term assets off of the uh, off of the scope, be in cash, and the market uh, gives us some type of signal that it decides to move up. If there's a QE3, 4, I don't really care what it is, whatever the signal is, I'll certainly be screaming, go ahead and get back in the market. But now is not the time, folks. So go get that report, 73 years' worth of experience. I'm absolutely passionate about it because I do want to help people. I want to help and protect you, each of you out there, all your friends, all your family. And what I'm giving you is a tool that is totally objective, has nothing to do with what I, what anybody thinks is going on in the world. It's just a real easy tool to be able to use out there. You don't need any kind of technical knowledge or information. So the Dow Diamonds giving you an A to B equals CD down confirmation on Friday. Small caps, 
absolutely giving you an A to B equals CD down confirmation on Friday. The B point that it took out was May 22nd. 59 million shares low there, 75.47. What does it do? Takes it out, gap down. On Friday, you do it with 76 million shares. So 76 million shares. Now you have an A to B equals CD down, folks. And on this one here, you know, it's going to take you into 67 bucks. It's going to go all the way back to November 25th. You're trading at 74.25 right now. And, uh, you know, just wait for this, uh, wait for this bounce here, uh, to be over before you get in. And, uh, but I don't recommend playing this bounce. You know, we'll take a look at the ETFs intraday, see what kind of volume it is that we might have out there. But you've got confirmation on two of the ETFs out there. That means the spies and the Qs not giving you the confirmation, but you did get below the B point. So if we take a look at the uh, Qs out there, the Qs showing the most amount of strength in here and now trading back inside its B point, the B point being the May 18th swing point that I'm looking at when the Qs traded down with 79 million shares. 79 million shares, a low there, $60.76. What do you do on Friday? On Friday, 71 million shares, 71 million shares going against 79 million shares. So it's kind of like close, but no Fidel Castro cigar there. No good Cuban cigar. Didn't have the uh, volume, to, but you did close below that right now. What the Qs are doing are tinkering with that swing point low of $60.76 from May the 18th. You're trading at sixty eighty five dollars uh, right now. you got decent volume in already this morning. You've got 20 million shares. Holy Toledo. We'll go take a look at that, see what's going on. Let's take a look and see what is actually popping and dropping uh, while I go and switch over to the... Uh, spy chart. So we're going to pull the spy chart out just to round things up for us. The spies also not confirming the A to B equals CD down, but getting down below the B point, getting down below the swing point. That swing point being May 18th. The low out there, 129.55, 319 million shares. You had increasing volume. You had accelerated volume. You can see volume moving up along the way. You just didn't have the same, the volume that you needed, the confidence uh, to blow through that swing point. Uh, on Friday, you did 253 million. Again, that 253 going against 319. Uh, and so expect the spies perhaps to give us the signal as it gets into that May 18th swing point low at 129.55. Trading out right now, 128.56. Spies, folks, they're going to go back to November as well, November 25th. So that is what is on the radar screen. So let's go take a look and see what it is that we have popping and dropping. So popping, you got Google up uh, six bucks right now, up a percent, uh, trade out at 577 and change. You've got Credo Petroleum, C-R-E-D. Uh, they are trading up 31%, so they must have a buyout or something. Let's see what we have going on out here. Halted pending news, yes. Uh, Forrester Group to buy Credo Petroleum for fourteen fifty a share in an all cash deal. Okay, so if you're in Credo, uh, you're up about uh, three dollars and forty six cents. Looks like maybe you close out around eleven bucks on Friday. Apple trading up two ninety right now. That's up a half a percent out at five sixty three. Medivation Inc. MDVN, they are up uh, about two and a half percent. That's up two bucks. Amazon up a buck seventy. Netflix up a buck sixty four. You've got. Uh, Ah, oh, boy, how am I going to pronounce this? Auxilium. There you go. That's how you pronounce it. Auxilium Pharmaceuticals, A-U-X-L. They are up uh, 7%. So let's go take a look at them, uh, see what uh, what they are going against here. Let's close this window down. Workspace. Close all. So let's go take a look at the uh, ticker symbol there. Again, is A. Where did it go? Okay. Uh, there you go. A-U-X-L. A U. XL disappeared on my screen. Okay, so uh, gapped up this morning, trade out at twenty dollars and thirteen cents. Has some nice juice behind it. In already in early trading, it has done a hundred one point seven million shares. And what we've only been the market's only been open for uh, twelve minutes here. So let's go see if we can find out what the news is there. Uh, uh, so some type of uh, study that it has done, some type of phase three trial. Doesn't give me the uh, details here. Probably does, but the text is so small, I'm not going to go ahead and try and read that. You'll see me straining. But let's take a look and see what uh, uh, they are actually doing here. Uh, simply going up against its most recent swing point, so it's got the volume to take that out. Uh, and if it does, and the swing point that we're looking at here, the B point, would be March 2nd, 465,000 shares. So again, what you've already done here is uh, 1.7 million shares. If you uh, get the volume and you get a close above that, that sets up one heck of a nice A to B equals CD run. AUXL, the ticker symbol, your A point, 
We'll go back and give you the data on that. But your eight point would be the low on uh, September 26, 2011, when it traded at 13.59. It makes a run all the way up to the B point, which happens to be March 2nd, 2012, at 21.25. Does a pullback here uh, into the uh, looks like about the uh, May 7th time frame, down at about $17.09. Retracement that it does. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be one of our Fibonacci numbers. And it does about a 0.618 retracement. Now it is trying to take on the uh, B point, but still trading a little bit uh, lower. So it's trading off uh, this morning uh, off of the uh, highs uh, intraday so far. Of course, we're only talking 14 minutes. Let's go see what else you got. Citrus, Citrix System, CTXS, uh, they're up about uh, 2%. You've got Wynn Resorts, W-Y-N-N, -N, uh, they're up 99 cents. Biopharma, B-M-R-N, they're up a buck. Not much really up. Uh, more than that, uh, so the biggest uh, leader out there right now, dollar-wise, Google and Credo Petroleum, that's a buyout. So let's take a look and see what we have going on on the downside. Quite frankly, not a lot on the downside either, dollar-wise. EOG Resources, actually the leader, dollar-wise, on the way down, a buck thirty-five. That's down one and four tenths percent. Uh, no news that I can see out there. The Cheesecake Factory off three bucks. So let's go take a look at Cake. C A K E is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, Cheesecake Factory. Man, that's that's a place, folks, that absolutely wastes food. And it's disgraceful, in my opinion. The portions that they give you uh, there are absolutely huge, so you know what I'm talking about. And then what are you going to do with those portions? Well, most people will box them up. And what percentage of people leave the boxed up things behind? Probably about 25%. And then the other 75% that take those boxes home, what do you do with them? You stick them in the refrigerator and you throw them out on garbage day. Boy, oh boy, they give you way too much food. Well, right now they're taking on a B point. They're taking on a swing point, at least. The swing point being May 21st, that low of 3045. You're trading below it right now. That low has 943,000 shares. So far this morning, you've done 200,000 shares. So you're going to have juice in size cheesecake factory. Where will that be headed to? Well, it'll be at least headed to test out the swing point lows coming into February 27th uh, area. You know, you've got some volume here at the highs. So it had volume at the highs at May 1st, which had 2.9 million shares. You've got some volume here, gap down, uh, you know, in this little trading range that happened on February 22nd. So right now it just looks like uh, you got the Cheesecake Factory in a trading range from the low $29 area up into the high 32 buck area. And uh, we'll have to just watch and see how that plays out today. Uh, let's go see what else we've got uh, to the downside. You've got Yum Brands down one and eight tenths percent. That's off a of buck twenty one. Haven't looked at that chart in forever. So let's go take a look at Yum Brands out there. U Y U M. Uh, they uh, oh they're they're struggling. Hmm. Let's, I'm glad we pulled that up. And uh, uh, Friday's session, Yum Brands uh, gapping down with volume. So now we have an A B C for sure. Here's a conf there's a there's confirmed A B C D patterns, folks. All over the place. The financials, the XLF have got a confirmed A to B equal C D pattern. Uh, they are, and you've got now you've got Yum Brands. Uh, you've got also stocks inside the uh, Dow 30. And I went and looked uh, this week at all Dow 30 stocks, all Dow 30 stocks, and the majority of them are on monthly basis are in long term sell signals out there, folks. Uh, so if we take a look at uh, Yum Brands, you're taking a look at the low of May 18th. The low of 67.23, 4.6 million uh, shares. How you come off that C point is really critical. How did Yum Brands come off the C point? Oh, they just simply let all the air out of the tires. They did that with 13 million shares. So now you've got uh, where? Where's Yum Brands headed to? Well, right now it's already below its last uh, area of support, which was February 7th when it did 12 million shares. Uh, that low on that candle 6449 you're trading below that so that's not going to hold it in place yum brands right now coming back to the swing points oh of course you know folks you talk about markets moving in unison the uh, 1 to 2.618 that's where yum brands is headed to is going to be november 25th that is uh, more likely where it's really headed to going all the way back to october 4th you will find there's many equities going back there the markets are going to go back there we are in a long term bear market. Get used to it, folks. And in long-term bear markets, uh, folks, what you will see, you will see some huge daily bounces. And we're not talking small. You'll see some huge daily bounces, and you'll think that it's over. Don't keep your long-term money in the market. You do not need to do that. Protect 
you work so hard for your money. I just hate to see you do that and ride things down. And that report that I have out there proves it, just simply proves why you need to be able to take action. Have some confidence, take some action, because you want to have purpose, performance, and passion. So let's go see what we also have going on out here with the, uh, let's go take a look at the uh, what's going on in uh, Germany. Uh, since the uh, German, uh, German uh, the DAX is open, so I could find my charts out here. And uh, you had the UK, they are closed, uh, celebrating the uh, Queen's uh, holiday. And so they are close today. Right now, you've got the DAX trading out at 59.90. The DAX is making its way in this A to B equals CD leg down. It's already done the 1 to 1.272. A to B equals CD. It's got further to go. Where's the further to go? Well, it's going to at least do a 1 to 2. A to B equals CD. And that's broken this uptrend channel here. All types of things breaking their uh, channels. In fact, one of the things breaking the channels, folks, is the king dollar. Let's go take a look at the king dollar. So where's the DAX going? I'm glad you asked. It's going to 54.88. It's going to go all the way back into the November 25th area. Take a look at breaking channels. Just go take a look at the king. And I'm not talking Arnold Palmer. I'm talking about king dollar. Look at how the monthly chart here. And we're talking about folks going all the way back into 2001 time frame. It's been busted. King dollar is on its way to the moon. We'll be right back, folks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. You've heard Basil Chapman on the air hosting the Tiger Technician's Hour and always wondered what's behind his powerful Chapman wave. Well, Basil has just announced a one-day online master trader course where he'll explain his Chapman wave methodology in detail so that you can learn how to chart Basil's one-of-a-kind formation techniques in real time while the market is open. Not only do you get a full-day online master trader course with Basil during live market hours, but by signing up now, you also get a free month of his newsletter, The Opening Call, a $128 value, along with access to his Moving Averages webinar, another $99 value. This online course takes place Friday, June 8th, and will be archived so you can view it as many times as you like for 30 days following the course. Make sure you take advantage of this one-of-a-kind master trader course with Basil Chapman during live market hours by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and reserving your spot today. 
In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter, The Gold Report. With over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week, in addition to covering the XAU, HUI, GLD, and Dollar, The Gold Report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market. For your 30-day free trial to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report, log on to TFNN.com today. Don't miss out on this great offer. Act now. Catch Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. The Money Masters, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Dow uh, off 21 points right now. S&P's off two. Composite off one. And before we went to break, we were taking a look at the king, king dollar. We're looking at a uh, long-term monthly downtrend channel. This, folks, is a 11-year channel. 11-year channel. And the uh, king dollar breaking out of it uh, last month, the month of uh, May, uh, breaking out with uh, conviction as well. That says, to start taking a look at the uh, long-term channel, that the uh, next area for the uh, king dollar to get up to after it takes a little bit of a rest up here uh, is going to be the $89 area. What's up at $89? Well, $89 happens to be the November 2008 highs that are out there. Uh, once it clears that, folks, you know the next steps on the uh, way up are going to be in the uh, 98 $99 area. Uh, taking you all the way back into August of 2003. So that is what's going on with the uh, King. If we take a look at uh, Light Sweet Crude, let's do that here real quickly. Uh, you've got Light Sweet Crude uh, trading out right now at 83.08. And if you take a look at ABCDs on the way down, well, Light Sweet Crude contract has got it all. Came off of the uh, C point with the vengeance, the C point being the May 2nd area when it got up to 106.05, trading out at 83. 09 right now, having done a, a 1 to blue through the 1 to 2, A to B equals C, D. It did that on Friday, and it did it with conviction. You had wide price spread. You had light sweet crude as high as 86.59, a low of 82.29, and with 345,000 contracts. The uh, uh, what, what light sweet crude has done is it's traded down to the 0.786 retracement. It's trading just about at that right now. 82.57 would be the exact number. It's trading out at $83 even, Stephen. So that really sets up, folks. It sets up a, a Gartley buy pattern. That would be a 0.786 Gartley buy pattern. But you wouldn't want to take this trade. You wouldn't want to take this trade because of the strength, the power inside this C to D leg. Take a look at the angle of C to D versus the A to B. This thing has got some strength, and you've got no bullish candles. None. You've got a couple of green candles, but folks, just because they're green doesn't mean they're bullish. So you've got no bullish candles. What's that set up? $75, like I said at the open. That says that at Light Sweet Crude wants to get down to $75. Bucks. But when a .786 Gartley fails, what's it turned into? Of course, it turns into a butterfly. That says Light Sweet Crude is headed to $65.27. That's simply what the pattern says. That makes sense when we just took a look at that King Dollar monthly chart out there where King Dollar wants to trade to the moon. So that is going to be good for you and me. We're going to continue to see lower prices at the pump along the way out here. Let's go take a look at the uh, spiders. Let's go take a look at the, see what pops. We've got the XLF. Okay, so we've got the XLF popping up on my screen. XLF confirming an A to B equals CD down. And this, folks, this is a doozer, a doozy. The B point on this uh, is the uh, swing point from May 21st, 86 million shares. What does it do on Friday? 100 million shares, almost 101 million shares, gets through the uh, B point with accelerated volume after a shallow retracement. Where is the XLF headed back to? Clearly, November 25th, right in the $11.60 area. Uh, November 25th low is actually $11.73. 
trading out right now at 1341. So the financials in a world of hurt. Uh, where are some areas here of resistance? Well, that was your pilot. And I was looking for some resistance area, and I am your pilot. Um, you know, you might get a little bit of res resistance here at the uh, $13 area. Folks, stay with us. Tom and I will be up next for the Money Masters. Then we go up to Newton Mass, to Basil Chapman, then over to Larry Pesavento in Tucson, Arizona. Back here for the David White Band from 3 to 4. Thanks for being here, folks. Make sure you live with purpose, passion, and then you'll have all the performance you want, folks. Take care. Bye-bye now.